I'm here with Neil Buckley, who's the Chief Exec at the Legal Services Board. So, Neil, thanks for your time this afternoon. Tell me a little bit about how long you've been at the Legal Services Board, what your role is, and a little bit about your background. Um, I've been at the Legal Services Board for 18 months, and as you said, I am the Chief Executive of the Legal Services Board, and I'm one of the board members. Okay. Um, my background combines two particular aspects. Um, I'm also a legal professional. Um, I've been qualified as a solicitor for almost uh, 27 years now, wow. <laughs> and um, I've also been in regulation for, for over 20 years. I did a master's degree in regulation in the mid-1990s, and then I work, went off and worked for the Office of Telecommunications and the Office of Communications, where I uh, ended up as the Director of Investigations. Okay, great. So a very um, grounded career in the law and regulation. So what is the purpose of the Legal Services Board? There's a lot of hype that we see in uh, the legal press and, and, and other sources. What are you here for? Who are you here for? Well, the Legal Services Board is what they call an oversight regulator. That's because the regulatory landscape for legal services is, is quite complex. We have what, what, eight frontline regulators, so all, all parts of the legal profession have their own individual regulator. The, uh, the bar, uh, obviously the legal executives, solicitors, the notaries, uh, licensed conveyancers. And um, not all of them are completely uh, independent in that they are often delegated committees of, mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of the regulatory, the representative bodies, I should say, mm -hmm. such as the Law Society or, or, or Silex. And we're really there to make sure that the arrangements work in the public interest and to oversee the performance standards of each of those eight bodies. Okay, great. So you talked about the public interest. What would you say is the real purpose of the LSB for the regulated community, but also for consumers of legal services? For the regulated community, I think one of our primary purposes is to, is to make sure that they are regulated well um, and that the regulated bodies are performing their fun functions in, in, in an optimal way. And that's both for the regulated community and, of course, for the, for the wider pu public interest. That's why at uh, the centre of our work is, is the standards performance assessment that we make of each of the okay. regula regulators. And also we're there to actually we have to approve rule changes. Mm. That's a rather significant part of our work. Okay, thank you. And you're just coming to the end of your three-year strategy. Um, what would you say have been the highlights of your three-year period and perhaps the lowlights? I think one of the highlights of our three-year period has been in relation to the growth of alternative business structures. Yeah. They were something which the uh, LSB was, has always been very keen because of the potential that they had for growth and innovation in the legal sector. And we now see nearly a thousand alternative business structures right across the legal marketplace. And our own evidence suggests that they really are beginning to have an impact in relation to, to innovation. So that's obviously very, very positive. Yeah, that's great. And any low lights or anything that you would look back on and say has been particularly challenging in your strategy? I think the, the low light has to be the continuing unmet legal need that, that is a challenge for the whole of the, the legal services sector. We have people out there who, who absolutely need, need advice from, from, from professional people and for whatever reason at the moment they're either not seeking that advice or they're unable to afford it. Okay, and perhaps they can't even find it in the first place and they don't realise they've got a problem well, that requires legal support. And that, that, that is abs absolutely uh, an, an issue for, for many people and one of, the, one of the challenges, again, that legal professionals uh, face so that people understand that there may be a resolution to the problem that they have because it is a legal issue. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And what next for the LSB? So you're coming to the end of your three-year strategy. You're obviously just about to go into consultation for your next um, strategy period. What does the future look like for you? I think the future looks like we there is much more still to be achieved. We had very much hoped that there might be legislative reform because we think that that would be beneficial for the regulated community and, and, and for the public at large, but I think that that's very, very unlikely. So our focus is making the most of the current regime and making sure that uh, it serves the public interest uh, as, as much as it can. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.